So I've owned my E86 Z4 for the last two and a half years, but I recently let go of that car. We'll get onto the reasons why in just a minute, but for now, I want to introduce you to my 2011 E90 BMW 335i. So first then, why did I sell my E86 Z4? Well, there's no real negative reasons to be honest. Like I said, I'd owned the car for two and a half years. I'd done plenty of miles in the thing, absolutely loved my time with that car. And really I just felt it was time to move on to the next thing because I'd done everything that I wanted to do. I really enjoyed actually having a sports car as a daily. The E86 Z4 actually worked fantastically well. It's kind of that cross between a GT and a sports car, so it's very usable. But to be honest, the state that the roads are in there in the UK and also the condition of that car, I really didn't want to keep subjecting it to daily use because it's just too nice an example. So that car has now gone on to a new owner who I know is an enthusiast because he's been watching some of the videos, which is absolutely fantastic to see. So I guess that brings us on to why the E90 335i. Now, this is a platform that I keep coming back to actually. I saw a car very similar to this a few years ago for sale and I absolutely loved it. So recently, as you do, I was browsing Auto Trader, seeing what might be a good replacement for my E86, and I came across this, a 2011, so one of the last of the line, E90 335Is. This means it has the N55B30 engine, not the N54, which was phased out in 2010, but it's still got the same power, 306 PS, 295 foot-pounds of torque. So one of the things that I really love about the E90 is the clean looks. It's just such simple BMW. For me, Pete BMW, if I'm being completely honest. Kind of these squared off lines all in these different places. I've got the twin tailpipes on this, which I absolutely love. And just the subtle 335i badging. It's not all shouting in your face like we see with a lot of the modern BMWs. This is a very subtle, understated car. The type of thing, if you know, you know. So yeah, the looks really drew me to this thing. I was looking for something that maybe offered a little bit more comfort on the Z4. Although that worked great as a daily, it has a firm ride, let's not beat around the bush. So I was definitely looking for something that would be a bit more comfortable. So yeah, we landed on an E90 335i. Now this is a low mileage example. It's something that I think has been relatively well looked after. Not had too many owners and it's been serviced regularly, which is important. So yeah, this kind of seemed like the perfect car to me. And to be honest, I've fallen completely in love with the thing so far. Some headline stats, it weighs around about 1550 kilos, not to 60 is in the mid five second range, top speed 155 miles an hour, electronically limited. So it's absolutely adequate performance. It feels really quite quick actually on the road just because there's so much torque. But I won't go too much into the driving dynamics yet because there's gonna be a full review on that. So if you wanna see that video, please do subscribe because it helps us out massively. So this car also has the 193M wheels, it's black sapphire metallic paintwork. I think it's a really, really nice spec. I wouldn't ordinarily go for black cars, to be honest, but when looking at these sort of later E90 335Is, there really aren't a huge amount for sale. So you sort of just have to kind of settle a bit on the spec, but in terms of where this thing is optioned to, it's got a lot of different toys on it, which are really nice kind of creature comforts to have. And so far I'm really enjoying that. Things like cruise control, heated seats, yeah, just the stuff that make winter a bit more bearable. So on the interior, it's really the same story. Peak BMW for me, this nice, simple design. It's not all in your face. There's not all these touch screens. There's buttons for all the sort of key things that you need as far as, you know, climate control goes and operating the radio and the iDrive system, which by the way, although being an older iDrive system is perfectly good, does everything you want. Bluetooth audio, telephone, navigation with traffic connectivity and all that kind of stuff. So it works perfectly. I've got the M Sport seats in this. They're not the fully electric ones, they've got manual adjustability, but they do have inflatable bolsters on the side, which are absolutely brilliant because you can adjust to kind of increase the amount of support the seat offers. Over long distances, these are really, really supportive and comfortable seats. And as I say, they're heated, so they get nice and warm quickly, which is absolutely brilliant. There might be one other thing you guys are noticing in here, and that is the automatic gearbox, potentially a controversial point. Now this is a ZF gearbox, it's a six speed, so it's one of the older ones. 
yes, it's not as quick as the ZF8 speed that everyone's used to, but actually it is a pretty good gearbox. In the standard driving mode, it gets through the gears quickly so that you're just cruising along at low RPMs. Brilliant. You can put it in the sport mode. I've got paddle shifters on the steering wheel and I can also do it on the gear shifter down here too. So it works perfectly well. Not the quickest thing in the world, but I really don't have many complaints about it. But we will get more into that when we do the review. Of course, being an E90 as well, it's a four-door, so we've got plenty of space in the back. The back seats are really nice, all covered in leather. Got climate control in the rear section as well. All works very, very nicely. Again, as well, plenty of storage in the boot for you know all sorts. The seats will come down as well. So it just means it's a really kind of practical vehicle, really. I have to say, I absolutely love the older instrument clusters on these BMWs. I know I've talked about this a lot before, but I really don't like a lot of these modern digital clusters which are really hard to read and just they just don't look that good it's a nice simple design on the e90 tells you all the information you need to know and, and nothing else really and at night they look really good as well with all the red backlighting coming through so yeah this is it this is my new e90 335i i'm really looking forward to spending more time in this and as i say a review will be coming soon so please do stay tuned for that because there's plenty of interesting things to talk about i think when it comes to this model if there's anything else you specifically want to see please do let us know in the comments below we're coming up with ideas for the different videos we can do right now and we'd massively appreciate any input you guys have as well before we wrap up this video though i'm going to let you hear the sound of this n55 b30 to me this has to be one of the best sounding bmw straight sixes ever built it's such a fantastic sound and the exhaust on these E90s is particularly good as well because it's valved and lets a lot of sound out. So yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to catching you very soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah.